welcome to The Know. I'm Meg Turney. And I'm Ryan Haywood. And get those internet pitchforks ready, guys, because evidence shows that Rockstar just downgraded GTA 5's graphics with their latest patch. Yeah, those sneaky, dirty bastards. They're sneaky and dirty. Mm. What kind of evidence are we talking about here? Oh, it's a YouTube comparison video. <laughs> oh, snap, snap. All right. Adam, tell us about this video. All right, so this video comes courtesy uh, to us from L Anal Easta D Bits. I hate YouTube names. Anyway, so he uploaded a comparison video that showed the before and after from the latest patch that shows the graphics have been basically, in layman's terms, been blurred and flattened a little bit, but it's obviously a lot more complicated than that. I think Ryan will do a pretty good job of explaining that. Basically, they've taken out the parallax occlusion mapping and the anisotropic uh, filtering has gotten really kind of shady. Uh, those are two very important features to adding depth to textures. Anything that's flat, it gives it more of a 3D look to it hmm. and makes it more shaded with parallax occlusion mapping. And then anisotropic filtering helps with textures that aren't viewed dead on. It basically, footprints in the sand look less footprinty yes. and everything looks flatter. Right. And shadowers are sh the shady shadowers. It's not as shady. <laughs> yeah. All right. So why would Rockstar do something like this? Well, the most logical answer is that they're probably trying to make their game more stable. If the graphics aren't as intense, then you get less slowdown and stuff like that. And make no mistake, it still looks pretty awesome. It's still very current gen. There's a marginal difference at best, but some of the side-by-sides are clear that there has been an adjustment. So is it a smart idea to do something like this? I mean, it's basically like you're giving somebody something shiny and then you're taking it back and you're like dirtying it up a little bit. Adam, what do you think? Well, I don't think Rockstar would intentionally downgrade their game. I think honestly, this was a mistake that came basically because of the heist and it just made its way past Q&A and no one really noticed until the fans went to it with a magnifying glass and saw it. I bet anything Rockstar is trying to fix it right now and they're just trying to stay quiet on the whole thing because they're Rockstar and they stay quiet on things. Well, it's actually funny that you mentioned that you think it's a mistake, Adam, because Rockstar literally just released a statement. It is breaking news right breaking now. Breaking news, breaking Ooh. news. They said, we're aware of some graphical issues on the Xbox One and PS4 versions of GTA 5 after the most recent title update, and we are investigating a fix now. Do you think that they're really investigating a fix or do you think that people just made a stink and they're like, shit, we got caught? I think somebody just went, oh shit, we forgot to turn it back on. Because you said it's like an actual toggle. It's probably just on. a toggle in the engine. Yeah, it's uh, one more thing you turn on or off in the uh, graphical settings. Just like I um, imagine on a PC, you can turn things on and off. So too, I imagine, I said imagine a bunch. <laughs> so too, on a, uh, a game that goes out to a console, it's just something they can probably disable. Interesting. So what do you guys think? Would you even notice a difference at this point? Or do you prefer beauty over rock solid stability? Let us know in the comments beauty. down below. Beauty. Stability. Beauty, stability. Don't forget, you get the very best in video games and entertainment right here. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel so you can know what we know and be in the know on this show. Heart you. You did it. Hey.